Hello students, welcome to our channel Learning Notebook. In today's video, we will do chapter Fractions. So let's see what all topics we are going to cover in this chapter. First is what is fraction? Then how to write a fraction? After that, half, one third and one fourth of a fraction. Then we will understand how to find half one third and one fourth of a fraction. Then we will look how to color the fractions. And student, in the end, I'll give you a worksheet for your practice. So let's start and first understand what is fraction. Fraction means a part of a whole. Let's consider an apple as a whole. If you give half of the apple to your sister then half of the apple remains with you and each part is called fraction. Now let's see how to write a fraction. Fraction is written in the form of numerator by denominator or numerator upon denominator. For example fraction 1 by 2. Here Denominator is 2 and numerator is 1. Now what is denominator? Denominator is total number of equal parts. Like in the example of apple, total number of equal parts are 2. Now what is numerator? Numerator is number of equal parts considered. Like in example of apple, Number of equal parts considered is 1. Now, let us understand what is half. When the whole is divided into two equal parts, each part is called half. And half is written as 1 by 2. Students, two halves make one whole. Now, let's see what is one third. When the whole is divided into three equal parts, each part is called one third. One third is written as one by three. And students, three one thirds make a whole. Now, let's see what is one fourth. When the whole is divided into four equal parts, each part is called one fourth or quarter. One fourth or quarter is written as one by four. And students, four one fourth make a whole. Now let's learn how to find half, one third and one fourth of a fraction. To find half of a fraction divide by 2. Suppose we have 12 apples. So to find half of 12 apples divide 12 by 2. We get 6. Similarly to find one third of a fraction divide by 3. For example to find one third of 12 apples divide 12 by 3, we get 4. Now, to find 1 fourth of a fraction, divide by 4. For example, to find 1 fourth of 12 apples, divide 12 by 4, which is equal to 3. So, students, this is how we find half, 1 third and 1 fourth of a fraction. Now, let's use this concept and learn how to color the fraction. Question 1 is, color the half of given shape. Student, let's look at the first shape. How many parts does it have? It has 4 parts and we have to color half of this given shape. So, divide 4 by 2. We get 2 
therefore color two parts of this shape now let's take a look at the second shape it has two parts and we have to color half of this shape so divide 2 by 2 we get 1 so color one part of the shape now let's look at the third figure how many parts does it have it has six parts so divide six by 2 we get 3 so color three part of this shape question 2 is color one third of given shape students look at this first figure this shape has six parts and we have to color one third of this figure so divide six by 3 we get two so color two parts of this figure now let's take a look at the second shape how many parts does it have it has three parts and we have to color one third of this figure so divide 3 by 3 we get 1 therefore color one part of this shape now let's take a look at the third figure this shape has six parts and we have to color one third of given shape so divide 6 by 3 we get 2 so color two parts of this figure next question is color one fourth of given figures let's take a look at first shape this shape has eight parts and we have to color one fourth of this shape so students divide 8 by 4 which is equal to 2 therefore color two parts of this figure now next shape has four parts and we have to color one fourth of this figure so divide 4 by 4 we get 1 therefore color one part of this given figure now last shape has 12 parts and we have to color one fourth of this figure so divide 12 by 4 which is equal to 3 so student color three parts of this figure so this is how we color the fraction now student let's understand how to write the fraction as i explained earlier fraction has two parts numerator and denominator numerator is the part being talked about and denominator is total number of equal parts so students now let's do an example and write fraction write the fraction for white and black blocks in the following figure students look at this figure number of white blocks equals to 3 and total number of blocks equals to 8 therefore fraction of white blocks equals to 3 by 8 where 3 is numerator and 8 is denominator now number of black blocks equals to 5 and total number of blocks equals to 8 therefore fraction of black block equals to 5 by 8 where 5 is the numerator and 8 is the denominator question number 2 is what is the fraction of figure in white look at this first shape here number of white parts are 3 total number of parts are 8 therefore fraction of white part is 3 by 8 now look at the second shape here number of white part is 1 and total number of parts are 4 so fraction of white part is 1 by 4 let's take a look at the last figure here 
number of white parts are three total number of parts are six therefore fraction of white part is three by six so students this is how we write fractions now let's apply the concept of fraction in solving a word problem question is the price of some fruits in a shop are given below rahul wants to buy 1/3 kg mangoes 1/2 kg oranges and 1/4 kg cherries neha wants to buy 1/2 kg mangoes 1/4 kg oranges and 1/3 kg strawberries so find out the total amount rahul and neha have to pay to shopkeeper Let's first find the amount paid by Rahul. Rahul buys 1/3 kg mangoes, 1/2 kg oranges and 1/4 kg cherries. Now cost of 1 kg mangoes is rupees 60. Therefore, cost of 1/3 kg mangoes is 1 by 3 of 60. So divide 60 by 3. and cost comes out to be rupees 20 similarly cost of 1 kg oranges is rupees 48 so cost of half kg oranges is 1 by 2 of 48 so divide 48 by 2 which is equal to rupees 24 students in the same way calculate the cost of 1/4 kg of cherries which is equal to 1 by 4 of 120 so divide 120 by 4 which is equal to rupees 30 therefore total amount rahul has to pay equals to sum of 20 24 and 30 which is equal to rupees 74 therefore answer is the total amount rahul has to pay to shopkeeper is rupees 74 now let's find the amount paid by neha neha buys half kg mangoes 1/4 kg oranges and 1/3 kg strawberries now cost of 1 kg mangoes is rupees 60 therefore cost of half kg mangoes is 1 by 2 of 60 so divide 60 by 2 and cost comes out to be rupees 30 similarly cost of 1 kg oranges is rupees 48 therefore cost of 1/4 kg oranges is 1 by 4 of 48 so students divide 48 by 4 which is equal to rupees 12 In the same way, calculate the cost of one third kg strawberries, which is equal to one by three of two hundred forty. So divide two hundred forty by three, which is equal to rupees eighty. Therefore, total amount Neha has to pay equals to sum of thirty, twelve, and eighty, which is equal to rupees. 122 therefore the answer is the total amount neha has to pay to shopkeeper is rupees 122 so in this video we learned what is fraction how to write a fraction how to find half one third and one fourth of fraction and how to color the fraction now in the end i am giving you a worksheet for your practice you will find the answers to this worksheet in my next video thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video then do hit the like button don't forget to subscribe to our channel learning notebook and make sure to press the bell icon thank you bye bye see you in the next video